Hey everyone, today I've got your Toy Story 4 movie review. A new Toy Story movie is out, but is it the best of the franchise? So as far as the story goes, Woody and the gang are going on another adventure after Andy gave away his toys to Bonnie before going off to college. Now, Bonnie is starting a new year at school and needs to have her toys to help save the day. But she goes on a road trip with her parents and when she creates this new toy, its existence may jeopardize everything Woody and the gang started. I have been looking forward to seeing this movie. I've obviously been a fan of the previous three Toy Story movies and I had a lot of high expectations. One, because the way Toy Story 3 ended, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. But if you have, you know that a lot of people would say that that ended on a perfect note. So I had uh, some reservations about this movie, hoping to, you know, see where this story was going to take place and that it wasn't just, you know, a cash grab for Disney. At first, when I saw this movie, it felt like a repeat of Toy Story and Toy Story 2 as far as the storytelling goes and Toy Story 3 was about moving on and going forward to making new memories, which leads to this movie, Toy Story 4, with this new adventure and traveling to a new location where toys old and new are found. I was thinking, what more could they possibly add to the story to bring it closure? Because uh, as far as we all know, this is the final Toy Story movie. So, you know, they had to really go out with a bang with this movie. So that was the only thing that I was hoping to see. As far as the casting goes, I mean, you've got Tom Hanks as Woody, Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear, and I mean, these guys really made this franchise what it is. I mean, they are literally making their characters the best that they can be. And I think they are even better than ever. I am a huge Woody fan, so obviously seeing him, they're sort of delving more into, you know, his storyline and, you know, his journey throughout all of this. And everybody else, I think just seeing the whole gang back together was so nice to see how they were all going to interact and just to seeing Tony Hale who was brought on to play Forky. Now I originally had you know a you know a cringe moment with Forky when the teaser trailer came out because I was like okay this is a new toy that Bonnie made so it's you know pretty creative uh, to see that you know something completely ordinary like a spork was going to be made into a toy instead of you know your typical plastic toys that make lights and sounds. And I kind of want to dub Forky as this Franken toy that goes AWOL trying to adjust to toy life. So I thought that Tony Hale did a really uh, splendid job, you know, bringing this character to life and, you know, bringing that comedic side to this, you know, unlikely character. And Bo Peep has this new look in the movie and I thought a new personality that went along with it because she's got this MO where it's like bows before bros. I'm just saying uh, she was, you know, pretty awesome considering we didn't really see her at all in Toy Story 3, so it was nice to see her return here. Jordan Peele and Keegan-Michael Key as these new like plushy toy characters uh, from the carnival and I think they're just awesome as well to see them in this movie and I have to give it up to Keanu Reeves who plays Duke Kaboom. I mean, I never would have expected to see him in an animated movie playing the voice of a character, but I mean Duke Kaboom is probably one of my favorite characters in this entire movie besides Woody. As far as the things that I liked about this movie, I would say that the animation was spectacular to look at and I knew from watching the trailers that I mean, it was just going to be amazing. I was drawn to all the little details that were added to the movie. The colors just popped. I mean, it's literally what you would expect for a movie like this. And there are a few times in the beginning where I will admit I thought I was going to tear up and get emotional, but watching those flashbacks of some of those previous Toy Story movies, I... I think definitely got me emotional the most in seeing Andy and it was full of heart and it put me on a roller coaster of emotions all the way to the end. It had me in stitches laughing so I uh, really found this movie to be consistent with that uh, comedy. There are moments in the third act where 
you know, it reminded me of Avengers Endgame, where there's a scene between Woody and Jesse, and I liked how, you know, with a lot of Disney movies, you know, there are a lot of, you know, messages, and there's an underlying message in this movie to just listen to your inner voice and trust your conscience, and that it's important in today's society, I feel like, when we feel invaluable and want to spread our wings and make our own choices in life. So I think that that was just really nice to see uh, in this movie, and kind of like passing the torch, which was also another theme that played up a lot in this movie. But unfortunately, the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that any so-called antagonists in this movie didn't leave much of an impact for me, which included, you know, their quick introductions, and I didn't really feel too attached to their characters and what their motivations were, and it didn't really pan out well. Like, you know, the way I would have expected compared to, you know, some of the villains that were shown in the other previous Toy Story movies. So I would say that was the only thing that I just didn't like. So overall, I would say Toy Story 4 is still a pretty darn good film, and I just loved it pretty much all the way through, and I would highly recommend seeing this movie. Bring your kids, bring your families. This is a movie that you know, all generations can enjoy. So I would give this four and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Toy Story 4. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.